Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm showing you the new Volkswagen Tiggo and this time we have the style package. So in Croatia we start with the live trim, this is the second option, the style trim and then top of the line version is the R-Line. But today's focus is the style, this is the key I have here and let's go through all the details. Now first thing I need to say is that this car sits on the same platform as the Volkswagen T-Cross but it is a bit larger thanks to the rear overhang and I think it's really unique in terms of design. I really like the design. I think it's an eye-catcher on the road especially when you spec it like this. So we have the IQ Matrix LEDs on this car which do have this light bar that connects the lights and it looks very very nice. An eye-catcher on the road that's for sure so you will definitely notice when you see it name of this color is raw gray and let me show you the front grille from close we have some chrome elements and this light bar and the volkswagen badge of course these are the fog lights sensors and the side profile reveals the very nice coupe style of the roof so look at this from this angle and uh, definitely i think this will be a good seller because of its design now the wheels these are the 17 inch diamond cut finish wheels and dimension of the tires is here 205 55 r 17 we have a lovely design with dual tone and uh, we have the plastic wheel arches to make it more robust you also have this silver element here now look at the incline of the c pillar the style package gets you this aluminium roof rails and probably my favorite part of this car is this so from this angle just looks so good we have the connected led lights at the back which once again make it very recognizable on the road we have the Tigo lettering the style package also has a bit of a different bumper here so you have lots of chrome and this sort of like a diffuser design that looks much better than the live trim because on live trim this is in plastic this is everything is in plastic there so i think this looks much better now let me show you the trunk we have the standard tailgate here and here we are greeted with 438 liters of storage area so a lot of room really practical you have the square shape and dual floor so you have the spare tire now something you don't see that often in modern day cars these are the hooks for your shopping bags and of course you can pull the seat to get even more room tell me in your comments what are your thoughts on the design of this thing once again i am a big fan and this is the middle trim here in croatia as i said and I also need to mention that the R-Line has, once again, a bit of a different bumper design. And uh, yeah, you have a lot of options when you spec this car. And now let me show you the interior of the car. So it's a well-known Volkswagen interior, digitalized. You have the digital cockpit and main touchscreen. And here you have some cloth materials. These are the switches for your windows and your mirrors. This is quite decent inside door pocket and lock and unlock button are located here so now without further ado let's see it from driver's perspective and one thing before we do that the seats they have this nice pattern I love the attention to details here they actually are pretty comfortable as well so now let's see it from driver's perspective let's start with the wider view so this is the layout here in front of us we have the digital cockpit i do need to mention that the digital cockpit is standard and here you see the digital cockpit pro with different views i'll show you those in a moment and uh, the layout here well it's a well-known Volkswagen uh, interior with the main touchscreen here in the middle and i do need to mention that this is actually soft touch so pretty good you have the nice pattern here sort of like a gray element let's change the view and let me show you the details here all right back to the standard view the air vents are located beneath this screen you have this climatronic uh, this is actually optional so on the base model you would get the classic switches i actually quite like this because it's easy to control it this is to adjust the air blower and then here you adjust the temperature as you can see it's pretty easy you can also 
a bit like this uh, so yeah i think uh, this is a good way to go this is the gear selector for the dsg dual clutch transmission here you have some storage area usb-c ports start stop off nice to see that on button and yeah this is for the sensors the classic handbrake smokers package i guess you can extend this and you also have some little storage area let me show you the glove box pretty decent for a car of this size and now let me just quickly show you the infotainment system uh, it is the well-known infotainment system but we don't have much battery left in the car so i'll be quick navigation uh, you need to purchase this in the shop so i'm not going to do that right now telephone you can pair it with either apple carplay or android auto this is the welcome wizard if you are not familiar with the system assist systems this car is packed with technology so here you can see the list we have the front assist lane assist and driver alert system then you can figure those out you can figure the warning and stuff like that you can also do this so just press it and now you can figure the distance driving profile and stuff like that so uh, let's go back to the main menu those were the assist systems media of course if you pair it with the usb you can listen to your favorite music or stuff like that app connect apple carplay or android auto vehicle settings are here here is where you can see the status of the vehicle we don't have fuel and we don't have the battery here so uh, those are the reports that you see here in front of us tire pressure and here is where you can configure the digital cockpit as well so you can have the classic view with the uh, speedometer and the gears view one or view two now you can figure what you want to see here so pretty nice and yeah that is the digital cockpit pro i can also show you the views that we have available here in front of the driver minimalistic view then you have this view with various information on your left and on your right or the classic view with the dials of course you can configure what you want to see here in front of you as you can see so with those buttons here you change what's here in the middle and with those you can figure what you see on your left and on your right so yeah that's pretty much it and what else can i show you settings shop stuff like that all is here the sound settings bunch of settings available here you can also have the touchscreen tone oh, that's nice i quite like this sound so i will keep it on and the radio you have the station list and as you can see this is pretty responsive so it's all good and now yeah the car switched off because we don't have the battery but yeah you saw pretty much the whole infotainment system and the digital cockpit these are the switches for the lights so they are the classic ones let me show you the sun visor and here are the additional leds as well as this smart feature where you can put your sunglasses or standard glasses of course and now it is time to check out the rear bench let us now check out the rear bench so we have the privacy glass and without further ado let's jump on board you will see the illuminated usb-c ports and the amount of space is quite impressive this is the view that you have on the front now let me show you also how much space i have for my head so this is the knee room and this is the situation here look at this still some room available this is really impressive because uh, this car has the coupe style of the roof and still i have 1 meter 87 and i am really comfortable here so no problems whatsoever thumb up actually from me and now time to check out the engine so of course you pull this and this is it a tsi one liter engine and only petrol engines are available for this model we don't have hydraulic struts so i'll be back with you in a moment so as i said a one liter tsi producing 110 horsepower various 
petrol three cylinder and four cylinder engines are available up to 150 horsepower so tell me in the comments what would be your choice would you go for this one or maybe a more powerful version and finally let's check out the spec list of the model in our video so there we go this is the new Taigo with the one liter TSI engine paired to the DSG automatic transmission this is the style package as I said the middle trim here in Croatia currently 110 horsepower this is the average consumption 5.9 liters by WLTP name of the color Rauch Kral so Rauch gray pale gray as the interior trim now the package is style this is all that we have as an extra on this car uh, so you can pause the video here to see it but basically you have the 10.25 inch digital cockpit pro climatronic so i was telling you about that the special ac controls and the two zone ac so yeah you can pause the video here those are the prices and this is the price of the model in our video with all the extras i will of course put the euro amount on your screen as well and now i want to hear your opinion how do you like this car i will also film a more base trim which you can see down there so this is the uh, style package and then that one is live package so stay tuned for that video as well subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one bye bye